Hello everyone. Happy Sunday. Leslie, the little plaza here, also known as Zazu Plaza, of course. Ah, I'm here in the woods. It's getting a little late. It's like after five. I couldn't get out here today. I was always cleaning. I started cleaning one of the boys' rooms, my oldest son. Because sometimes my husband goes in there or I go and, you know, we, he comes home sometimes and sleeps in the bed and, or my husband works at his desk and, you know, see, it, the kids, although the kids came home last night just, just for a little bit as they, uh, they went out, they went out with the guys, they had a guys night out, September 26, 2021. Yeah, they had a sort of a guys night out, you know race cars and stuff. Anyway, I don't enjoy that kind of entertainment. Some women do. Like Nori, my friend I used to work with at the environmental, she loved car races. You know, She'd be down there in the pit trying to meet Dale Earnhardt Jr. or somebody. You know, she loved that. She loved working on cars. It's not really my thing because I'm Kind of sensitive to the sounds and the smells and the, you know, <clears throat> in general, it's not my thing. So I stayed home and did work and planned my meals for the week and had a nice, lovely, quiet evening until they all descended and came home. So, long story short, I was up there cleaning. I'm reading this book I got from my mom's library about uh, space clearing. This lady who goes in people's houses and rings bells and claps in the corners and all this crazy stuff. And I'm like, wow, that's cool. <laughs> Quack. Um, so I'm, I'm adding to my repertoire of, you know, little tricks, my bag of tricks to raise the energy, right? Yeah. So uh, it's, it's fascinating. I knew some of this stuff before because my mother's always been into feng shui and all that stuff, you know, the, where you rearrange the furniture to, you know, make more money, get more love into your life. And it's, it's all related. So I'm learning about that. And, uh, you know, just fascinated with energy management in general. Now that we're in Libra season, but like I was saying, I spent so much time cleaning my son's room, I didn't get to vacuum the rest of the upstairs, and I had to go and do that, and then I was late to get out here. So I didn't get to do the thing that I wanted to do for myself, but it's an eight day, so, you know, eight is balance. You know, like, I picked up the stick to illustrate my point here. See? I got a stick out in the woods, see? See that? It's like a seesaw. It's a fulcrum, right? Remember from high school physics? If you move, if you, if you move your finger, it's not going to balance, is it? It's going to fall. If you move your finger to either side of this thing, it's going to fall down. If you keep it, keep it right in the middle, see? Perfect balance. Well, not perfect, you know, because nothing's perfect but pretty darn close. And since I have a Libra Ascendant and it's Libra season and we're going into Mercury retrograde in Libra, it's out. It's, it's of course appropriate that I put a focus in my, talk, in my talk today on balance, see? And Libra, ruled by Venus, is also about relationships, right? The give and take. So, Da, da, da. Put that down there, thank you. So yesterday was my mother-in-law's birthday. Uh, so uh, my husband's gonna go see her today and take her out. But um, so she turned 92. And uh, I, so I made her a nice card and you know, there were gifts and things. But I've been thinking just putting some extra energy into thinking about my relationships. And, you know, I always use astrology, but thinking 
in a loving way about the people in our lives. And, and as I go along, I get insights as to, you know, use astrology is the perfect tool for that. You know, why people act the way they do, the things that people need from other people in relationships. You know, why does so-and-so always do this? Well, you know, because of this. So I've been thinking a lot about myself, too, you know, how I show up. It's a good thing to do every now and then. But since it was her birthday, I, um, I dug this out. This is something she gave us, my husband and me, um, for one of our anniversaries or, I don't know, some special occasion. See that sparkly? It says, uh, to grow a happy marriage. I'll just read a little bit. Um, it's in terms of um, tend your marriage garden and it'll blossom all year through. She said, nurturing your partner gives your garden color and flair. Grow appreciation with compliments and care. A little boring maintenance at times need be done, but use your head, be positive instead, and you'll turn it into fun. Take nothing for granted. Replenish and renew. Tend your marriage garden and it'll blossom all year through. Isn't that nice? I don't know who did that, who said that, but it's, it's a plaque. I had it in one of my bins. So you can put that on your wall, put it in the marriage corner of your house, relationship corner. And I said, wow, that's nice. And this time of year, I usually go around and yank out the old summer plants because they're shriveled and tired and they just want to go in the woods and decompose so they can spring up again next year. And then I got to go and get some mums and some pumpkins, right? So if we look at nature, we have all the guidance that we need, you know? We just look at animals, look at plants, pull our energy from nature, you know? Yeah. Watch, watch ducks, watch birds, watch dogs. Just don't let them eat your bacon or your pizza, like mine does. It's, um, you know, it's all connected because we, we need balance in our lives, right? We have to take care of our physical bodies um, and our physical surroundings. So if we don't do that, just at a minimum, you know, I mean, everything's going to... Now, look at, look at the clothes in your closet and the jewelry that you haven't worn in a while. It's all yucky and tarnished, right? and it doesn't, it doesn't sparkle anymore. Well, how can our relationships be any different, you know? What you pay attention to thrives, right? And if it's something that you don't want to grow in your garden, then still water it. <laughs> Go in and yank it out. You know what I mean. There's something that looks like a weed, probably is a weed. Not weed, weed, but you know what I mean. A weed. It's going to choke the heck out of your mums or your petunias. Get it out of there, right? So it's the same thing. Energy, physical, all the way up. All the way up our chakras. Along, along our meridian, central meridian of our body. Those of you who, are, who know a little bit about yoga, I think most people have heard a little bit about the chakras. The, the base ones are the, you know, the lowest energy that we're, you know, when we're born, we work with that and we, we go all the way up to the, the highest point, which is our spiritual, opening to the spiritual wonders of the universe. 
And the, around here is the heart chakra. And that's very important. To nurture that, that's, that's where, well, that's where we give and receive love in the world. You know, and the more you give love on something, the more it's going to give back to you, right? The better you take care of your pumpkins, the bigger crop you're going to have. Unless, you know, there's, a, there's an adverse season or whatever. But in general, in general, it's, uh, it's a good rule to follow. Right? So, it's, uh, and, it, and so it goes. Our spiritual lives, our, our emotional lives are the same, right? Use it or lose it. You know, if you, if you don't express your, your truth, your feelings to people in appropriate ways, they're going to take you over, you know, like weeds. They're going to cloud everything. They're just going to choke the heck out of your whole life. You've got to clean that out. Tell people you love them. Clean your emotional house. <laughs> What's making you angry? Is it that that your husband's shoes <laughs> that you keep tripping on when you go up the stairs? You know what I mean. Just say it. Okay. Kindly, but you know. Hey, you know when you do you think you can, you know, pick up your shoes? Because it's, it's, it's sort of blocking the flow. Yeah, you know what I mean. They're those little things that just bug you. Like, like when you're, <clears throat> somebody in your house goes and eats all your mini marshmallows that you like to put on your paleo chocolate on Saturday afternoons. Hot chocolate or cold chocolate. You know, you know when, when somebody goes and does that and they eat the last marshmallow and they don't replace them. Those little things that really get on your nerves. Okay, I said it. See, I feel better already. Ah. So anyway, and then all of that, you got all of that taken care of. Sometimes you need a little, a little polishing of the spiritual chakras you know it's like anything else what do you hope for what do you what do you believe in you know what what gives you strength in in tough times and a little humor goes a long way <laughs> Do you pull out a Bible and read verses? Do you like poetry? Does that nurture your soul? Do you like, you know, walking in nature? How do you connect with God, source, spirit, you know, whatever? That's, see, this is what I do. I come out in the woods and talk to my phone. I hope some of the things I say will sort of ring a bell for you. Not one of those, even one of those big, big space clearing, you know, bells that you get from Bali, Bali or whatever. You know, there's some people on some island that make bells. They're, they got me thinking, you know, about bells, how special they are. You know, that growing up Catholic in the mass, they'd always ring the bell, right? During the, the part where you're kneeling down in the Mass when they're, you know, the Eucharistic, the prayers are being said before the Eucharist. Yeah, one of the altar servers would always ring a bell. And, you know, it occurs to me that some of these rituals are important. There's a reason behind them um, that we don't always realize, you know. And I'm one of those people who needs to know why. Why do we do this? Why do I have to clean? Oh, that's why. You know, because I'm just hurting myself if I don't. Why do I have to, you know, eat healthy 
take a bath, clean my room. <laughs> you know, like when you were a kid, all the stuff that, you know, your parents tell you to do, and you do it, but you don't know really the deeper meaning, the deeper spiritual meaning of why. Oh, I got some nostalgia buzz. Remember that police, the police with Sting? That song, we are spirits in the material world, our spirits in the material world. I love that song. I'm going to post that, link to that. I just thought of that. Early 80s. Um, for those of you who don't know the song, Sting, awesome. I grew up with a lot of, you know, that kind of music, high school. Um, it really sank deep into my heart. So I think just being, having the awareness of balance helps. You know, like you do a little checklist, check, 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 check. Every day when you get up, I try to follow a ritual. And it changes constantly, but it's, you know, I have morning rituals and then I have evening rituals. And you try to flow with the seasons and flow with the day. And uh, it gives you peace. It gives me peace. I hope it would give you peace. You know? <laughs> it's like that Boston song. I've got another song coming. <laughs> That, that, that song from Boston that said, all I want is some peace of, it, it was peace of mind. But when I was a little girl, when I was Zazu, well, I still am Zazu, I used to think that it was saying, um, all I want is a piece of pie. <laughs> all I want is a piece of pie. Makes sense, right? What a piece of pie. Who doesn't like pie? You like pie, right? I like pie. Not 3.14, da 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 But, you know, pie. Apple pie. It's pie season. Pumpkin pie. Apple pie. What's your favorite kind of pie? My mom used to make a mean chocolate cream pie and a cherry cream pie. The chocolate cream she would make for Thanksgiving and the cherry cream she would make for Christmas. And then there was salmon pie and meat pie and, you know, all the savory pies. We French Canadians, we like our pie. This is digging into me, this tree today. I've got to get up and stretch. I did a fierce shoulder workout today. Oh. So, um, yeah, I guess now, I guess I'm, I'm developing greater consciousness over the energy around me. You know, what I take in, what I expose myself to, what I give my energy to, you know? What do I, what do I put focus on? And that tends to multiply these days. <laughs> and, uh, the things I take my energy out of tend to kind of, you know, disintegrate. <laughs> so, uh, you know, but there's just so much you can do with other people's energy. Um, you know, you can't go in your kids' rooms and start throwing stuff out. It would be an invasion in my, in my mind. My parents were always very careful with my things. They'd put them in a box. You know, when I stopped by, they'd say, here, here's your stuff. Get it out of here. <laughs> you know, because, because it was in, in their energy, you know. It was my stuff. It was my responsibility to take care of it. If everybody in the world would just take responsibility for their own energy, we'd be golden, wouldn't we? Right? Yeah, that's what it's all about, right? 
I brought something today. I wasn't sure where it was going to fit in, but I thought it was kind of appropriate. Um, let's talk about energy. So, you know, sometimes before I go work in my office, I spray this stuff. It, it, it's like an aura balancing spray. And uh, it helps if, if there's been, you know, a uh, little negative energy in there, if just from the computers being run or from, you know, people talking. and You never know where it's going to come from. The TV. I don't know. So I usually go spray around and it balances things up. So one year for Christmas or whatever it was, my mother-in-law gave us some Poo-pourri. Have you ever seen this? It says, before you go, vanilla mint spray. <laughs> it's great stuff. They sell it at those, you know, gift shops and places like that. Good housekeeping seal. So, you, you, you put it in the bowl before you go. <laughs> and, it, and it keeps, and it freshens as you flush. You, you see that? So, if everybody in the world would just, you know, use some poopery, <laughs> then the person coming behind them would get a pleasant smell. Vanilla mint. I had French vanilla coffee this morning. It was good. Fall is that great time when you become aware of these senses. Smells of apples and pumpkins and vanilla mint in your toilet bowl. So I thought I'd start off fall season with a little, a little verbal poopery. <laughs> in hopes that you might find this amusing. quacking up <laughs> you know so so say some nice things spray before you say expose yourself to some potentially negative energy you know it's like you know pump yourself up we want to pump you up remember that SNL skit from the 80s. We want to bump you up. Hans and Franz. <laughs> We're getting a lot of them today. Okay, so, so there's a plane. I won't say it. Fantasy Island comes to mind. Uh, tattoo. <clears throat> Anyway, yeah, so um, if you feel yourself heading into a <clears throat> potentially mm, yeah, stinky situation, just dump a little, you know, a um, little symbolic poopery. And take a deep breath, balance. Okay, I know I'm a little weird sometimes, but this is good stuff. I want to share it with you. You may not agree with it, or maybe, maybe you will someday. But uh, I hope, in any case, you find this entertaining, and that it doesn't, you know, uh, offend you. If it does, look into that. Why does it offend you? You know? Don't waste those opportunities. If something offends you, write it down. Why does this offend me? That's like a freebie. It's like the universe is telling you, okay, here's something you need to fix. Put it on your honey-do list. And tend to it. Tend to your garden. 
Why does it bother me that he eats my marshmallows? That's something to look into. Because, you know, hot chocolate without marshmallows, or cold chocolate without marshmallows, is just not going to cut it. Okay, that's all for today. Got my rant in. Until next week, I hope you have a lovely day and a lovely week. Wow. <laughs> Bye-bye.